50 real quick. Hi, this is Brandon I. Brooks, Managing Editor with the Los Angeles Sentinel and the LA Watch Times newspaper. It's my absolute pleasure again to be here at the 57th Annual Grammy Award Red Carpet. Stay tuned as we have some of the best interviews from the brightest, funniest, and some of the most flamboyant stars that you see in Hollywood. Brandon Brooks with the Los Angeles Sentinel, LA Watch Times. I'm going to just call him Mr. Super Bowl. I mean, that's going to be your title for a while. I mean, I'm not even from it. I was one of the best plays I've ever seen instinctively in history, but let people know who you are officially and what brings you here. Um, Malcolm Butler, um, cornerback for New England Patriots. Um, I'm here because... got that pick, by the way. I'm here. My agent told me, uh, he asked me did I want to come out, and I told him, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're, 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 you're a big phenomenon with that play. How has your life changed since that moment? We're just going to say... I can't even go grocery shopping anymore. So I know it changed. Um, missed calls, 30 missed calls every day, plenty of text messages. Been busy since the Super Bowl, so it's, it's changed a lot. While I have you, because I want to know, how did you anticipate that? It was such a great play. Did you got to give me, and then afterwards, the way you reacted, I want to ask you, but tell me about the play. Oh, um, I got beat on it at practice. That same exact play. And, um, when I broke the pass up and the guy uh, caught the ball, you know, I, I felt like the game was going to be on me. So I got another chance to go back out. And um, everything came to memory when I seen the receivers stacked up. And I was like, they got Marshawn on the one-yard line, and they might well run it in. But I'm a pass defender first, so I'm going to play the pass. So, so you did have some predetermined, like, I, I think I might jump this route. Yeah, so I just went on and jumped the route. I've got to tell you, I mean, as someone that plays sports, I appreciated your, the way you reacted. It was, you just seemed like, you didn't, it was the way that you looked on television, I really felt, how did you feel? Like, Describe the emotion. You wanted to cry, you didn't want to cry, but you was just like, it was overwhelming for everybody. How did it feel? Um, great feeling, man. Um, I couldn't believe that it happened. When it happened, when I made the play, I couldn't hear nothing. Um, I couldn't think because all my teammates was congratulating, congratulating me, and it was just one of the best feelings of my life. And last thing, let's move on because you know we got, you got a bright future ahead. Obviously, going to be one of the best corners in the game coming up. So tell me, you know, what, what can we expect from you, and what should we expect from you as a football player? Um, hard work, um, making plays, going out there again, my best effort, uh, and I just don't want that one play to describe me as a hmm. player. So. I mean, I've been doing that or whatever, but not to brag or anything. I just didn't no, have an opportunity. No, okay, <laughs> I just didn't have an opportunity to. When I got my opportunity, I made the best of it. Yeah. If anybody wants to catch up with the fans, get some info, where can they find you out or get hold of you? Um, you giving any of that out? I got my social media or whatever. Just Malcolm C B Butler. So. All right. All right. Shout him out. Thanks a lot, brother. All right. Thank you.